Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for January 14, 2022, the Secret Talks edition. And we begin with that story from the Times of Israel. Uh, Apparently, there is a secret plea deal being negotiated with disgraced and corrupt former Israeli PM Benjamin Netanyahu uh, to have him avoid trial. Query, how much uh, can these talks be secret? If the terms of the deal have been released, or at least in the public record now, uh, due to the reporting of the Times or other newspapers, nevertheless, uh, it would be a huge um, win for the former prime minister, and prosecutors are allegedly fuming over the attorney general's back-channel negotiations. The issues are issue, issues remaining are issues of whether Rail Hill plead out to having engaged in moral turpitude and the timing of his resignation. Uh, But uh, it may be a way to help unfragment the uh, Israeli political scene. So Donald Trump's favorite prime minister uh, may plead out to corruption. Uh, We can only wait and see what will happen to former President Trump. Next up from Axios, uh, U.S. and European lawmakers gather on Capitol Hill for a meeting of the inaugural meeting of the Interparliamentary Alliance Against Kleptocracy. Well, that's a mouthful. Whose objective is to harmonize the Western world's approach to countering corruption. Uh, Coming on the heels of the strategy to uh, uh, counter corruption um, by the Biden administration, you see Uh, The papers, or rather the strategies, began to uh, be put in place. Um, This is not a foreign problem. It's an everywhere problem, from the U.S. to England and beyond. So uh, many members of this group view corruption as the uniting force of dictators, i.e. a systemic threat undermining trust in democracy and siphoning off literally trillions of dollars from the global financial system. Next up from Reuters, Robinhood seeks to have the lawsuit against it tossed over meme stock trading restrictions. Uh, this uh, is a lawsuit based upon the GameStop imbroglio that Robinhood found itself in a little, uh, little less than a year ago. And uh, Robinhood removed its uh, user's ability to buy certain stocks for a day when its deposit requirement ballooned to $3 billion among its de- increased demand. Of course, uh, these traders thought that Robin Hood uh, was restricting demand because pressure was put on them by the big boys. So they, of course, have sued. So uh, we'll see if they survive the motion to dismiss. And finally, from the Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, Dylan Tokar reporting, shifting regulatory obligations and new technologies that could age, aid rather in catching uh, financial criminals We're top at mind of the annual conference on financial crimes this week. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.